Hey, grown folks. How y'all doing? This is Donna Smith, a.k.a. Lady D. And I have been missing each and every one of you talking and sharing some grown folk talk and discussion. I do apologize. It's been a lot going on. I have, wow, been in my lab creating some good stuff. I just released my single, Thirsty, that's on cdbaby.com. Also, um, I have a hot, hot, hot new one coming out any day now called Pleasure. And when I tell you, it's a pleasureful trip that you will take listening to this poetry and music, I am not kidding. I am not kidding. And also, A Woman Without Scars, which is called AWWS by Donna Smith. That one is hot, too, talking about women and our trials and our tribulations. And if you haven't had anything to scar you or been through anything in life that's been not so nice, and you've gotten through it and gotten over it, you ain't lived. And thirsty just makes you want to thirst for more because it's hot. But it's for adult listening and show is pleasure. So that's what I've been doing. Sorry I've been away and I'm back. And I love to sit down and chat and chop it up about Whatever comes to mind, whatever it is that moves me in the moment about grown folks. And one of the things I just just had a thought about is, you know, I think I talked about something on this level before, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it back home. But it's the realness of romance. You know, I was sitting back thinking the other day and also today about romance is just, it's just gone. It's not there. It's not present anymore. It's not as strong as it used to be. You know, when uh, my parents, grandparents, your parents, grandparents um, were dating and wooing each other and and that staying power. And some of us have family members who are in their 80s and been together for 60 something years. I mean, it's just a beautiful thing. And, you know, nobody's perfect. Nothing is perfect. But the spice that you need to sprinkle and put into having that cohesiveness, you know, within your union, your union is vital. You know, I have lately talked to a few people who've come to me, Lady D, Lady D, Donna Smith, I, 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 I'm just, I, I'm just, I just don't know what to do. I am not being approached and dated and wooed like I used to in this decade and day and age. The men are more standoffish. They're more uh, unapproachable emotionally. They are waiting for the woman to pursue, pursue, pursue. And then when she does too much of that, he gets scared. He runs back. He bounces back because he's like, what, what have I got here? Either she's desperate or she's looking for somebody to take care of her or woo, 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 woo. You just get this whole nine yards. And then there have been men who have been scorned and heard and and taken advantage of that have wooed and romanced women. Um, and they just, they're not going to do it. They are not going to do it. Do you hear what I'm saying? They are not going to call you regularly. Now, they may call sometimes in the beginning just to get and do what they're trying to do. But to be consistent about it at first, nah, 
that's usually a, a texting type of thing, an email typing thing, an inboxing on social media type of thing. Um, and I mean, wow, it's just so different. You know, a lot of women, and I'm not going to say all because I can't speak for all, but a lot of women that I have talked to and even myself personally love the fact that a man is pursuing her. I mean, it's it's flattering. It's it's the effort that he puts into it. It's the real and genuineness about his approach. You know, um, if you're not one to talk on the phone every day, every other day. You know, hey, how you doing, baby? Just thought about you. Ooh, with your sexy self. You know, whatever you want to throw out there. But going a whole week, and especially right before a date. Now, let me just take you here with this. You ask the woman out on a date. And a week, a whole week has went by and you haven't spoken to her over the phone. So... There's no specifics as to, well, am I going to pick you up? Are you going to meet me? Where are we going to go? What do you like to do? Um, blah, 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 blah. There's nothing. But right before, the night before, you get a text. Are we still on for tomorrow? You have got to be kidding me. And... It just takes away, you know, it, and, and, and to give flowers and candies and treats and magic and little walks. And I mean, it, it's not about the money because both could plan things that don't even come. You can plan a little picnic and make a couple of tuna fish sandwiches and burn a 99 cent candle and throw out a fluffy uh, whatever blanket and just be as cuddly, smuggly, and that will be one special moment that she will never forget because of the effort and the uniqueness and the energy put forth behind it. Now, get I, I get it, I get it, I get it. When you're not really into a person like that, or you're just trying to get a piece of boo-boo, well, you're not going to put forth a whole lot. You may chase just a little bit and see if she'll bite. And if not, you just go on to the next. And there are those women who are trying to be the gold diggers and, you know, the users and things like that. And she'll just do so much or whatever. And if he's not swinging her way, giving her what she's trying to get, she goes on to the next. But what happened to true romance when there is true interest? You know, I can understand some are a little slow. Some like to take their time. I'm old school. I like to take my time, too. But sooner or later, we're going to get there, especially if we go on and traveling together. You hear me? So you have got to spend. Spice that thing up, grown folks. If you're with someone and you are a little reluctant and shy, share ideas, ask somebody else who seems or to be, be more romantic than you about some little pointers. Google how to be romantic. You know, Google will let you know just about anything. But you have got to step it up. And I'm not trying to just bash on my men because I know, I know that it's women too who, you know, but a lot of you men, you're not doing what you used to do. And then some of you are doing it and then you stop doing it after you get comfortable. You don't woo her anymore. You don't do the things that she needs to feel special. And it ain't all about the money. You know, it's okay for a brother to have a little something, though. I, I ain't gonna lie. But, but it's not all about the Benjamins. It's about the effort. It's about the romance. If you go and buy a single rose 
from the 99 cent store that has the pretty little colors and sprinkles on it and give her that single row. She doesn't know where you got it from, but you know what? Spray it with a little perfume or something. Man, let me tell you. You will move mountains just by making the 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 effort taking a step thinking about her a call sometime more regularly than a text because sometimes you don't get text messages sometimes they get lost messages in your inbox get lost all that stuff get lost sometimes so let's bring it back let's bring back the romance fellas let's start woo 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 wooing these women and i guarantee you you'll see a change you will. And I like to know what you guys think about this because perhaps I'm just a little too old school. If I am, enlighten me. Tell me. Tell us what it is that has changed the dynamics of romance coming from men and women nowadays in this decade. It's been a blast. This has been one for us to think about. My name is Donna Smith. I am just ecstatic by being here with you, having this fun. You can definitely reach me on Facebook under Donna Smith, my website, www.donnasmithgrownfolktalk.com. Also, I'm on YouTube. I'm on Twitter, Miss Lady D. 1111, I believe that is. But Google me. You can find me. I'm everywhere. Lady D, Donna Smith, find me. And check out my new singles that has been placed right before you. CBBaby.com, Thirsty by Donna Smith, AWWS, A Woman Without Scars, that is, by Donna Smith. And any day now, you will be pleasured until we meet again and i just want to say one more thing uh oh almost forgot anybody who wants to contact me the best way to do so is to email me i'm always eyeballing my emails i'm always responding that's d g r i e r 12000 at yahoo.com and I didn't mention on YouTube where you can enjoy some of these videos that I'm sprinkling with you now. I'm under Donna Smith. So, with that being said, I've had a blast. And you all stay grown because your hostess with the mostest will be back real soon.